DGSCO, COUSF, COICT R&D Fund, Excellencies, COU Phone, uh, winners of the contracts from the ICT R&D Fund program from incubation centers, my colleagues from the Ministry of IT and from the sector, Aslamu Alaikum. Thank you very much for uh, making the time today to attend this, I would say, a very big day in the history of Ministry of IT. Actually, uh, I have uh, abstained from signing another ceremony which was due today, which was ICT for Girls program. And I thought that we will uh, do it in the next week or, day or thereafter, because this in itself is huge to absorb to begin with. What you have just done, and I uh, know that most of the people who are sitting here have full appreciation of the very fact that where we are in four years of the journey of the Ministry of IT from 2013 under the leadership of the Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. The clear vision of digital Pakistan. What else do we need? I think this is something which is a combined effort of the patronage that we got from the Ministry of Finance directly from the Finance Minister, direct supervision of the Prime Minister, a teamwork at the Ministry of IT, teamwork at the USF, teamwork at the ICT R&D Fund, the boards of both the companies, and the interest from the private sector. It was not possible to stand here today and claim the success without all of that happening in one go. Alhamdulillah. God has been kind, God has been gracious, and no matter what we wanted to do to take this journey towards digital Pakistan into a reality, it has become a reality. And if you look back, and I said in the last four years, this journey has been, although an uphill task, but I would not say that it was a challenge. Because for us, it was whatever we wished was achieved. Alhamdulillah. So for the finance minister, uh, has been all through uh, a guiding, uh, has played a guiding role in it. He, he has supported us all through. And the recent tax incentives that have been given to the IT and telecom sector are a, are a manifestation of the very fact that the Minister and the Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif are very keen to see that this IT and telecom sector flourish and the dividends and the socio-economic benefits of technology are delivered to the masses. This message coming from the budget in itself is something that encourages me to work even harder. And in this last year of this current tenure, I would want to do a lot more things that realize the objectives for which these concessions were given in the first place. The startups and incubation. I just want to speak a minute for it. When, when we started this startup and incubation process two years, three years ago, I went to London and I visited the tech city. It took me about a year and a half to convince the ICT R&D Fund Board and some of the members are sitting here that what really is that we would want to do. There was a lot of discussion, there was a lot of work that had to be done on the RFP itself. The board was skeptical that what if it is not going to be a success? And I said to them in the board, that if, if we are not going to take a step forward, how would we know that it is going to be a success or a failure? We have to take chances and we have to put our faith in Allah that whatever we are trying to do with good niyat is going to give us the results and we have to do it for the youth of our country. So there was a year and a half of in and out of the RFP and then we had Jazz and team up together who won the contract. We have, mashallah, National Incubation Center working in Islamabad now, probably one of the best incubation centers as they claim that they are. But for me, whether or not they are best, the important thing is that they are there. The important thing is that there is hope and there is happiness on the faces of all those who are taking the benefits from the incubation center in Islamabad. For the first incubation center in Islamabad, we only got a few proposals of interest. Just a few. And I think for Jazz, it was an easy sail through. They got the project, hunky dory, without much competition, but they have done a good job. But then came 
the real interest part started when we gave out the RFP for the provinces. And I would like to share with the finance minister and all of you that we received something like 31 proposals, 33 proposals from 100 plus companies across the country. And this consortium, uh, the, the consortiums that were there, each one of them was so solid that ICT R&D fund had to take a couple of months plus to find out that who could be more eligible than the other. And then the process is before you. So this intense competition coming from people and companies and organizations who are not even from the technology sector per se tells me that this sector, IT and telecom sector, has gained the attention of the private sector no matter where they are, whether it's Fatma Fertilizers, whether it's TPL Tracker, whether it is LUMS, whether it is universities in Pakistan or abroad, all of you together have shown to me through your interest in the incubation centers that there is a vibrancy in the sector, there is hope in the sector, and there is a commitment of all of you to, to work for the youth of our country and take this talent pool in our country to the next level to, to, to come and contribute in the growth of Pakistan. And that is, that is how I see innovation, that is how I see entrepreneurship, and that is how I see all the, the three centers here in Peshawar or in Karachi and the next one coming up in Quetta playing their role uh, for which they were initially started. That's my expectation from all of you. Where we go from here is what we make out of it. We set up the venture capital funds, we take the, the, the benefits, the incentives that the budget is offering, and whatever else we want to do, uh, the finance minister, the prime minister, all there to give the support to us. So it's not that you've got the contracts and you are going to roll it. If you have any difficulty, we are all there to help you hold your hand and would want to make it a success. That's a commitment that Jazza has from me, that's a commitment that you have from me. Just a few words on the USF. The Broadband for Sustainable Development is something that we renamed in the USF board. We thought that whatever the sustainable development goals are, are not going to be realized unless the broadband is made available to every single citizen of Pakistan. And we've come from less than 3% in broadband in 2013 to crossing about 30 plus percent now of the broadband user of the total mobile users in the country, mashallah. This is again a huge achievement. We have come a long way in three years. I would say we have come a long way in such a short span of time, mashallah. Now, the, the vision, the broadband for sustainable development goal, what the Prime Minister desires is that every hundred population village which is unconnected, which means there is no PTCL there even, will get mobile connectivity and going forward, 3G. And as I've already spoken about 5G, so I don't know how fantastic 3G sounds, because now I think very soon people will start saying, where is the 5G there? So just to put this together, I would say that this is one of the last projects that have been signed, the Kharan Vash Vashuk lot. About, uh, about 600 mozas altogether are going to get connected. And after that, the only part that remain unconnected on which we're already working in, and Harris will bring out the proposal is FATA and a small part of the Dera Ismail Khan. So the finance minister would be happy to know that you, you repeatedly refer to digital and financial inclusion and Ministry of IT is playing its role in enabling and trying to achieve the vision, the dream of the digital inclusion which will then enable the financial inclusion. So, so Ministry of IT, when it is working on innovation, when it is working on entrepreneurship, when it is working on connecting the unconnected, at the same time, it remains focused on the women and girls of our country. And USF is now connecting the ICT, through the ICT for Girls program, the schools in Islamabad. So we would now be doing 226 Islamabad girls schools connected with uh, can, uh, with the computer labs, together with Microsoft and Nadeem is ex-Microsoft now, but he has started this process. 
doing uh, the four C courses, the computer cloud computing course for the girls. And we are also obviously, and as you're aware, are already working in the Bethel Malls in the country on this project. So I would not want to take any more time. I would want to thank all of you. I would want to thank the finance minister for always being there to, to support. And if there is any further support, I would um, request you that you bring to us and don't hesitate. I know that the federal government, the prime minister, the finance minister, and the entire team is all committed to realize the vision of digital Pakistan. Thank you very much.